डिस्कस अबाउट 40 मीटर जीबीटी टावर फाउंडेशन वर्क फॉर बीएसएनएल 4G सेचुरेशन प्रोजेक्ट फॉलोइंग द स्टेप्स फॉर टावर फाउंडेशन वर्क साइट डिमार्केशन एज पर द प्लान लेआउट एस्कवेशन एरिया मार्किंग साइट लेवलिंग एंड क्लीनिंग सोइल एस्कवेशन फॉर टावर फाउंडेशन पीसीसी वर्क्स बार बेंडिंग वर्क्स शटरिंग RCC works and finally the template setting. These are the major steps for any tower foundation work. Sample plan layout. For any construction activities, first of all, we have to have a plan layout approved by the authority. For our telecom sites, we have to make plan layout for particular sites. Then that particular plan layout has to be approved by the authority before starting the work. Plan layout may differ from one site to another depending upon the site condition. In the plan layout, you can see the tower foundation area, then solar foundation area, then ODC foundation area. Accordingly, we have to do the demarcation of the places and also the total area demarcation to be done for boundary fencing. This is how the demarcation to be done in the photographs. You have seen the demarcation are done with uh, um, uh, caution tape. It can also be done with, uh, with by cutting the soils also. And the uh, tower excavation area, ODC area, and solar area. Side leveling. Side leveling requirements comes where there is hilly areas, uh, uneven surfaces. Before excavation of the soil, we have to do the leveling of the soil. The amount of the leveling of the soil requirement is di differ from one side to another depending upon the site condition. After site leveling, <coughs> excavation can be done. Size of the excavation is 7 meter by 7 meter and 2.6 meter is the depth. We are now discussing, discussing the design of 10 ton SBC. In the 10 ton SBC design, our excavation area is 7 meter by 7 meter and 2.6 meter is the depth. <coughs> this is the bar bending schedule. Here we will have a cutting length of the rod, main bar bearing schedule for 10 ton SBC. This is the top view of the tower foundation. Uh, tower foundation. This is the B, uh, BB section, A section. This is the base plate of the tower. This is the foundation ball elevation. And this is FF of section of the tower foundation. And this is DD foundation of the tower foundation. Top view of the bar, uh, tower foundation. Column to column distance 4.5 meter. Then the size of the beam it is 350 mm and secondary beam is 300 mm. Column size is 550 by 550. <coughs> this is the bar winding schedule. Here you can see the shape of the bars. Type A 10 mm rod. Cutting length is this one. 5.9 is the cutting length for 10 mm rod highway that is this and 100 number of pieces is required for this tower foundation. Why 100 meter um, numbers because 50 number for upper uh, mass and 50 number for lower mass of the raft. 25 mm requirement is 5450 cutting line and 32 numbers is required. This is B type. This is the B type both side there is L ok so this will be basically used for beam and another B type is 20 mm same shape but different size of cutting line 51 50 is the cutting line and the requirement is 12 numbers 10 mm again requirement over here A type straight cutting line is 4950 which is equal 16 numbers 25 mm again required over here that is the C type this is the C type L is only on one side this is for column so number of the pieces required is 32 cutting length is 2915 the column beam uh, sorry the column uh, rod <coughs> E type E that is this this is basically ring rods E0 and E1 is used for main beam 
E2 and E2 and E3 is used for secondary beams. E4 and E5 is used for uh, <coughs> column. 16 mm rod is used for chair. The cutting line is 1920. 16 number to be cut. And this is the size. Okay. So, from this drawing you can see the height of the uh, height of the rock foundation that is 250 and height of the main beam that is 750. So, there is 250 mm overlapping of uh, rough and the main beam. See over here you can see E0 ring rod up to 1120 length mm length E0 are used and from here to here E1 is used again from here to here E0 is used. Okay. From this you can see uh, the cross section view of main beam. This is the main beam 750 and this is the raft where 10 mm rod size are seen and also the chair are seen over here. Okay. And the column <coughs> E4 and E5 ring rods are used. Inside one is E5. Okay. <coughs> you can see clearly this is the main main beam where four numbers of 25 mm is used at the above and bottom another four numbers. Okay. Another four 25 mm rod. And the side there is 10 mm rod, two numbers, two numbers this side and two numbers this side. Okay. So there is overlapping between uh, raft and the main beam that is 250 mm and 100 mm is the PCC this is the PCC then this is the wrap and this is the main beam PCC size 6.2 meter by 6.2 meter and 100 mm is the thickness where this PCC we have to do at the bottom of the excavated soil after a PCC we have to place the lower part of the raft Wrapped in PCC, there is a cover block of 50 mm separated by a cover block from wrapped and PCC. Then we have to place this um, four columns. Center to center column, as I said earlier, it is 4.5, 4.5. And as per the Pythagoras theorem, this uh, column on diagonal is 6.3 approximately. Okay. okay. After that, we will be placing the main beam main beam then followed by secondary beam over here <coughs> this is the e0 ring rod and e1 ring rod location here e0 ring rod to tell eight location we have to use this e0 ring rod okay here also eight, eight location and here 10 location we have to use e1 ring rod e2 and e3 ring rods are used at the, and the secondary beams these are the chairs to support the upper part of the uh, uh, raft and these are the columns E4 and E5 ring rods are used over here from the picture you can see clearly how E0 ring rod are used one place two number of E0 ring rod one rod uh, one ring is binding three numbers of 25 mm rod from one end and then from another end and the three numbers of rod are bind together so in one location, two numbers of E0 rings or ring rods are used. This is the cross section view, intersection view of uh, uh, main beam and column. Shattering works, shattering work can be done with plywood and also can be done by MS sheet. After, after shattering, we can do the wrap casting. After completing the wrap casting, we can uh, do the main beam and secondary beam casting. So after casting, uh, the foundation will be uh, something like this. And uh, we have to do the column casting after that. After column casting, we can do the backfilling. And after backfilling, we can do the... Uh, setting of template and uh, foundation mold. This is a very important uh, criteria. 
and this is a very important uh, part of the tower foundation work all the tower foundation foundation ball has to be placed properly at each column the template and uh, foundation ball are supplied with the tower supplier and our um, team at field has to place it accurately so that there should not be any problem for tower erection this is the full picture of the template setting that's how the foundation of tower uh, has to be done for any query you can directly contact me for this particular tower foundation work <coughs> so main, uh, for this uh, plan layout approval demarcation excavation Uh, side leveling excavation, uh, then bar bending, then uh, PCC, uh, placement of uh, raft and uh, columns, and placement of main beams, placement of secondary beams, then shuttering, then casting. That's all. Thank you.